welcome to another episode of Checkout Basket. Today, we are checking out a new line at my local supermarket that also is at also Pizza Hut, the Streets Cornetto in vegan. That's right, this is a complete vegan ice cream put out by Cornetto. Now, I, I, I know that uh, the Queen Mother the one that uh, passed away quite a few years ago, was quite um, a fan of the Cornetto. And I'm wondering, if she was still alive today, would she appreciate a vegan Cornetto? could only wonder. But, wonder no more what this Cornetto actually looks like. So, it's green. It comes in a nice green box as so it's made with soy products contains hazelnut soybeans and wheat may contain milk due to processing okay hmm interesting all right well that's what it looks like nice green vegan cornetto well I've always, I always have the wonders, you know, what does it look like inside? You know, you think, ooh, yeah, Cornettos, they have that little bit of chocolate at the tip. And that's the best part about it. And some people like the, uh, the nuts on top, which this does. It has the nuts on top. It has uh, the wafer cone with chocolate all on the inside filled with this lovely soy ice cream. All right, that sort of looks nice. It's all got its bits and pieces. But what does the inside look like? I've got my trusty, let's cut into this thing. all the way through. As you can see on the inside, you can see a layer of chocolate. So the chocolate is coated on the on the entire inside of this uh, wafer cone. And right down to the tip, the tip I couldn't cut properly, um, is totally solidly full of chocolate. All right, well it does come in a pack of four and I am quite partial to an ice cream to myself. So I've got one here, from my offsider, who sits off camera, who's going to help you and me figure out, is this vegan ice cream really worth it or not? That's right, it's taste test time. All right, so in front of you, you have a Cornetto yes. in a green shell, and you have half a Cornetto that I cut in half so that you can see in front of you what the inside of it actually looks like. So I gave you half. That's interesting, I've never seen one cut down the middle like that. Mm. And I've got the chocolate tip because... Yeah. Well, I was just going to ask that. I love the chocolate tips. Now, you say this is vegan. It says it's vegan. Alright, so... Where's the ingredients? It's a vanilla flavoured ice cream confection in wafer cone topped with... Uh, components of chocolate and roasted hazelnuts. The ingredients are water, uh, sucrose, vegetable oil, glucose syrup, glucose uh, fructose syrup, yeah. corn flour, uh, maize starch, roasted hazelnuts, soybean powder, cocoa powder, emulsifiers, uh, vegetable gum, uh, contains dextrose from wheat, Salt and flavour. Contains hazelnut, soybean and wheat. May contain milk due to processing. Because it's processed in the same factory as they make the other Cornettos, some of the vats that they clean out may still have traces. So what makes them claim that it's vegan if they put that disclaimer on it? Because they have to have that disclaimer. It's like, it's, it's like when I worked at, um, in the Coles Bakery. All right. Why not 
have a separate machine for vegan. Because it's still manufactured in the same plant, it um, uh, it may, in fact, be cross-contaminated by accident. They put those disclaimers on there for that reason. Well, you may as well say everything in this world is cross-contaminated by everything else. It is. Uh, but, like, when I worked in the bakery, we would make donuts. And I know for a fact the donuts had absolutely no nuts in it. But there was always a disclaimer on the on the label that we printed. Just in case, huh? Yeah. May contain traces of nuts. Okay. Alright. I've never seen one cut in half before. This is quite interesting. It, it, looks, it looks nice. It's like going to a museum, you know, where they cut, <laughs> cut the, the bullets in half and all that and stuff. And you can see the insides. Yeah. Alright, well, I'm going to have a little bit of, a, of, of this cut in half right, one. let's go for it. Mmm. In taste, it's not normal. It's not normal ice cream. Really? I taste that straight off. Really? Yeah. But it's got a creaminess to it. You can taste the vanilla in it. That chocolate and nutty um, bits on the top was beautiful. I, I, how can you taste the not ice cream ice cream? It doesn't have that milk fat taste. Really? All right. Now, this box was uh, $9 for four. For four of them. So they're about um, $2.25, oh sorry, yeah, $2.25 each for each one of these little Cornettos. Chocolate, nothing wrong with the chocolate. Mm. Now that chocolate wouldn't be made with uh, milk, would it? No, it says um, cocoa powder and soy. Which is, which is vegetable. Yeah. Except for this climber, everything that you've read out is all vegetable. It's vegan. Mm. Look, and look, they have, they have to put that disclaimer on the front of them. You know, just just in case. You know, it's it's like. You know, may contain traces of nuts, but this does because it's got hazelnuts on top. Um, Alright, it's not that bad in sugars, it's like 17% of your daily sugar intake, 25% uh, of your daily fat, oh, <laughs> saturated fat, so... And I'm on a diet, you can do this. <laughs> so, look, it is, it's sort of healthy, but it's still not. Well, I'm, I'm trying to find out. You say you can taste the... the I can taste the difference. Well, I'm saying I can't. Oh, you can't. That's good. I can tell that it's not made from cow's milk. It doesn't have that... Um, that uh, some You know, the, the ice cream scum you can sometimes taste? Yeah, I can't taste this on this. It tastes nice. <laughs> I'm saying it's not bad. It's beautiful. It's awesome. All right, shall we give it a score? Oh yeah. Vegan ice cream, it is a little bit expensive, but if you were to go to buy this at the servo, you're gonna be paying a little bit more of it, more than that anyway. Now, I did notice it doesn't look as big as what I can remember they used to be. No, the corner, this is this is a little bit smaller, and I don't know why, they just sort of <coughs> started making these things smaller and smaller and smaller for a pack of four, it's 360 mils. I don't know if maybe it was maybe 400 or 500 mils at one stage, but they seem to have got smaller and smaller. I do Because I definitely did look, I can remember, well, maybe because I was smaller than I don't know. I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> Excuse me, edit that out, please. Uh, but, um,. I know they've been pushing. We've been pushing a lot of vegan stuff. Vegan stuff, but I, I, look, it's not just me who's been pushing a lot of vegan a stuff. A lot of people have been asking for vegan stuff. The marketplace out there at the moment, there is a lot of stuff for vegans. And like our, or my, your brother, my yep. younger son, yep, uh, had a medical problem when he was born. Um, had to have have had to had have vegan have stuff. Vegan food, and the um, the quantity or the the quality and the quantity 
it's just ridiculous. It, it, if, it, if we were starting out now, we'd have no problem. No, nah, it's the, the the market is there and it has everything there. The same as people that are um, yeah. that have to have uh, celiacs. Celiacs that, that that have to have no gluten in their in their yeah. pasta and stuff. Um, same stuff that my brother had to eat. Yeah. Like back in those days, you'd have to buy it from one particular outlet, and it was usually through the hospital. Um, and you couldn't get any of this stuff. These days, you can go to your local supermarket and pick up these. You can dial up Domino's and get a gluten-free pizza. So, oh, and vegan, a total vegan pizza. But just remember, those Rebel Whoppers at Hungry Jack's are not vegan. Just straight up. And I have the piece of paper that says they are still cooked on the same boilers as their beef patties. They don't clean them. So it, it, you're going to get cross-contamination from I, beef fat. I think that's defeating the whole purpose. That was defeating the whole purpose it of that. Is. And even that di- disclaimer on that, if they could say this has been prepared in a total milk-free, nut-free environment, or well, it's got nuts on it. It's got nuts on it. Uh, <laughs> completely vegan environment, I think it would do it a lot better. Yeah, but look, they have to, to put those on there, I think. Uh, you saw the point. It's the same as that disclaimer on the yes, on the on the on the Rebel Whopper vegan burger. The non-vegan burger. <laughs> the, yeah, the Clayton's burger. <laughs> the burger you have when you're not having a burger. I've heard the Clayton's burger <laughs> for a long time. If you know what I mean by having Clayton's a Clayton's, burger. please leave it in the comments below if you've ever had a Clayton's before. Okay, so and we'll see if people actually know what a Clayton's is. It's, it is an Australian uh, Australianism. Yeah. Um, having a Clayton's. So if, if you know what that Australianism is all about, leave it in the comments field. I want to see how many of you actually know what a Clayton's is. All right. It's well, like, it's like, sorry, but it's like doing a, a Bradbury. <laughs> and a That's right. Like I mean, yeah, good. Go on. All right, score. I'm giving it a five. You're giving it a five? I can't, give it, I can't not give it a five. Look, for what it is, for what it is, yeah. it is it is a vegan product. That's no, nice. It's got, a, it's got a decent price. It, I'm, I'm, look, you can get cheaper ones, but remember, it's being a vegan product, being a $9 vegan product for four of these things, I think is actually, you know, well, well for the price. So yeah. you're giving it a five. Yeah. I have to give it a five as well. I think, I, I personally think that they've, that, that they've done very well on this. Are I think making these? Streets. Streets are, streets are making these. So it's not a fly by night. No, no, no. It's 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 actually a proper a proper one of the one of the big companies that make yeah. ice creams in the world. Streets have made a vegan cornetto. So I'm giving it a five. You've given it yeah. a five. That's a ten out of ten. If you do see these, go and have a look. Remember, if you've seen anything you like in these videos, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget comments, questions, all things I can be doing better in these videos. Leave it in the comments field. Tell me if you know what a Clayton's is and what the Australianism on that is. Tell me about it in the comments field below. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and get notified when I do these. Check out basket episodes, my daily vlogs, cooking with Craig, car maintenance, you name it, I film it, it ends up on YouTube. So, hit that subscribe button. And until next time, see you in the next video. And I think streets, you, you, you've got a winner there. Oh, yeah. I'd buy that anytime. Do they only have them in the one flavour? Vegan.